Hi guys. I'm here today with some Christmas things that I bought at TK Maxx's HomeSense. My name is Fawn, this is my channel and I come on here to show you the things I've bought, the things I'm doing and the things I'm thinking about. And if you like that kind of thing, please do join me for the ride. I love TK Maxx and HomeSense. Um, if you've watched me for any length of time, you will know this. I absolutely love them. And there is a really big HomeSense that's about, um, it's about 45 minutes away, I think. So we don't go very often, um, but we were looking for something to do the other day and I said, look, you know, I'm, I'm busting to go. So we went and I'm gonna show you the things I got. Now, most of it is for Christmas, but the very first thing, which I'll show you, is a throw. Now it's not for me, it's for hubby in the car. Um, it's really lovely, I have to say. It is a really, really lovely throw. It's 100% virgin wool. Um, he's very fussy, <laughs> I have to say, about what he will use and what he won't. This is by a company called Frass. Don't know them at all, signature Frass. Oh, the scarf company. 100% virgin wool, but it is, it's big, it's a throw, it's not, it's not a scarf, it's a throw, it's beautiful. It was quite spendy, in my opinion, um, it was 59 pounds so £60 pounds for a throw, I don't think I've ever paid that for a throw myself, but um, hubby quite often has to get up and um, set out for work, because he works away from home. Mimi's having a shout. Hmm. Um, he quite often has to set out at half past four and five o'clock in the morning. Now this car's a great car and it's got heated seats and so on, but when you very first get in the car, you know that chill. And he tends to feel it in his legs, in his knees and, and chins and so on. So he said he really wanted a throw and he saw this one, fell in love with it, loved the fact that it was virgin wool. Why virgin wool, I don't know. But he had to have it basically. Next, I picked up a new tree topper or um, star for the top of the tree. I looked for one last year and I couldn't find one that really sort of spoke to me. I mean, that sounds really stupid. It was $7.99, which I think is a brilliant price. It is really pretty. Can you see the design on that? Really, really pretty. Um, they've got lots, lots of tree toppers, if that's something you're looking for. My last one sort of gave up the ghost a year or two ago. <clears throat> it broke off by there. I'd had it for a long time, mind you. Um, and I tried various other things on the top of the tree. And as I say, last year, I just couldn't find one that I thought, yeah, I really want that. But this one, yep, love it. You know me, I love everything. I also picked up, again, not a Christmas thing, but for 3 99 I picked up this. Now, it's by Umbra. And it's a flax drain stop and hair catcher. And the idea is that um, you use it a bit like a plug, um, but it will catch hair and all of that. Now, I didn't get it for that reason. What I got it for is my daughter, her sink, when it came, had two pre-drilled holes so that you could have the, the sink either right or left hand facing. And you put the tap into the hole that you were going to use and put a cap on the other hole. Well, somewhere in the building process, that cap went missing and she's never had it. And we've tried various things so far to stop when you wash down the draining board, the water going through into the cupboard. Um, and at the moment, she's got a pretty ugly black thing. And I saw this and I thought that's kind of attractive. It's silicon, it will seal properly over the hole um, and will just look better in her kitchen was my thought whether it'll work i don't know but 3.99 i was pleased with that now almost identical almost identical i found this now this one has a lot more white on it it also has in the center of it i don't know if you can see there's a, a tea light holder and you hang it obviously it's got a lovely long chain let's see if i can unhook the chain has got itself beautifully wrapped here we go now I have in the conservatory, there are two sort of bars that go across that um, help hold the roof up, I presume. I mean, I, I'm fairly sure they're not there just for decoration, but maybe they are. And I always hang things on it at Christmas. And I saw this one and I thought, how pretty would that be? Hanging down with a tea light in it. I'll get one of those um, battery operated tea lights. 
but I thought he was gorgeous. It was $7.99, just like the tree topper. It's similar enough um, without being all the same. Do you know what I mean? It's got, they echo each other. If I hold them up, let me show you now. <clears throat> You'll see that there is a colour difference, even though they have this similar design. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. Now I picked this up and it may not be to everyone's taste. My husband, definitely not. He was like, you're not buying that, are you? But yes, I was and did. I picked up this. Now it cost me $14.99. Made out of some polymer or something. But it is, of course, uh, baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I'm not hugely religious. I, 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 I don't go to church as much as I should. Um, I, you know, I'm a very sort of modern person. I ha have a modern view to religion, but I am religious enough to believe that at Christmas we are celebrating the birth of Christ. So, um, <laughs> sorry if I'm offending anyone. I really hope I'm not, but I know that Jesus is even, um, He's considered a prophet, isn't he, in a lot of other religions. So they all mix together. I think if we really looked at them all, we'd find we're all praying to the same person, myself. But anyway, I loved it. I thought it was really, really stylish, as well as um, having that, that, you know, denotion that this is Christmas. And so I bought it. I hope no one's upset about me sort of mentioning religion, but it is Christmas. Um, and I have had friends and worked with people, been to school with people of, of every religion out there. And I always liked them and they were always nice to me. So, so far as I'm concerned, you know, it's c'est la vie. Now then, to go with that hanging um, star that I said I was going to put from the beans, um, I picked up these. Now they've got these in loads of sizes. These ones were 3 99 and I picked up four of them. Um, I'll hold one so you can see it. Whoops. Oh, if I can get it out. <laughs> to hang either side of the star idea, the, the one I've already shown you, I think it will glitter beautifully with Christmas lights and things like that. And it's just simple and different. So I picked up four of them, as I say, at 3 99 They have much bigger sizes. They had ones that were strands of three, which I may be going back for. Hubby was with me, and I've got to break him in very, very gently to the Christmas things. <laughs> he really struggles with all that. And then to go in the middle on the second one, because I've only got one of those stars with the tea light, I picked up this to hang on the other one. It says, love. Now, it also had Merry Christmas and various other things, but for me, it's about love this time of the year, isn't it? And this was 4 99 So I'm really looking forward to doing those. I'm looking up at them all the time while I'm talking to you. Really looking forward to decorating. I like to decorate the conservatory. Um, this is where we have our Christmas dinner because I use it as my dining area. And obviously I have a big sofa area here. We spend a lot of time in here over the Christmas period. I usually put my Christmas tree in here as well. So this is sort of my main focus for decorating and I, I love getting new things and I think they'll really work. I also picked up, just because I couldn't resist, two of what I think are just the cutest little um, Christmas tree ornaments. Um, this one was 4 99 Would you look? Isn't she just adorable? A little deer ballet dancer who's going to go on the tree. She's all soft. Um, I have to be very careful because last year Ethel uh, decided to strip my tree um, regularly and she broke so many of my um, baubles. Um, so I'm looking at the moment, I'm, I'm sort of sticking, until I know whether she's got over it, I'm not sure whether she will have, I'm sticking with unbreakables so that if she rags them down, I've got a chance of still having um, a really pretty ornament to put back on the tree. And another one I got, and this one is a little mouse. She's a mouse princess, she's got a little crown, um, and she's black and blue and again oh she was 3.99 she was slightly less i just thought so cute i wouldn't buy loads of them but two of them on a big tree i think i could get away with it couldn't i <laughs> something that wasn't for christmas but was for me um i'm trying to encourage myself to 
um, drink a lot more um, herb teas. And local to me is somewhere where you can buy uh, chamomile and peppermint and stuff loose and, and they put it in a little baggie for you. So I bought myself a little teapot. It's Scandi Home. I don't know who makes Scandi Home or whether that is the, the, um, the range. Um, it was $12.99. They say the original price was $30. I wouldn't be surprised. Lovely little bamboo handle on it. But it's one of these where you have inside the um, little cup, the, the, the infuser, maybe they would call it. I don't know. But you put, your, you put your tea leaves in there and water in there, combine them together. Um, and then you have this lovely little, little teapot. So this is purely for me. Um, I just figure that if I make myself a cup of this, a cup, <laughs> make myself a container of this, I think there'd be at least two cups in there and it would encourage, uh, encourage me to do it. So, um, yeah, I really like it. I think that's really lovely for 12 99 Last but one, I picked up a tin of biscuits. Now, I thought this was really funny. You know how quite often you go into fancy shops and they have tins of biscuits and things like that and they say things like Swiss biscuits or... Um, yeah, you know, France, French biscuits. Well, these are called British biscuits and they've got lots in there that are British biscuits, which I've never seen. And again, what made me laugh was on here, it says Grandma Wilds. It's such a lovely tin. That is such a pretty tin. I would use that in my sewing room. Um, they're in, embossed pugs by the fireside tin, but what's really nice is they are stem, ginger and lemon biscuits and chocolate chip and clotted cream shortbread biscuits they sound gorgeous for a little nibble over christmas um it was 4.99 for the tin and i just it went in at the last minute to be fair it was you know where you've got a stand queue <laughs> they had them all there and i was just like yeah i'm gonna try those and then the very last thing i picked up which i was really thrilled with oops, was this a really big wreath it's a good one it's on oh gosh let me turn it around it's on the florist wire hoops there are two of them so it will stand out well from the wall it was only 9.99 it's by everlands it is very simple very plain but i'm going to decorate it i'm going to get little bows i'm going to get little um christmas baubles and i'm going to make this wreath my wreath um and really speak for me rather than getting one that's pre-arranged and 9.99 that is just that is a brilliant price um in the past i've paid almost as much as 9.99 just for the metal um the metal hoops inside so really really pleased with that one so that was it as you can see i was being very good and that's because hubby was with me <laughs> whenever hubby was with me i have to be a bit good <laughs> I pretend to be good let's put it that way when he's around um i'm beginning to get a real collection together of some really nice and new and different christmas things i mean it's silly because i keep all my christmas things i've got boxes and boxes but they've been bought for other places i have not really bought for here yet i bought a few things last year but i'm starting to really buy for here um and it's nice to do different I think it'll be nice to do different. I know my mum and my auntie and things like that, they used to quite often, they one year it would be all red and gold and another year it would be pink and silver and another year it would be... I've never really done that. I, I've always just put everything out. But I'm going to try and use an editor's eye this year. <laughs> I don't know work. Um, and decorate slightly more to my taste but i think it'll be brilliant i think the children will adore it and i will adore it to be fair there's something really jolly about walking into a room that's all all pretty and glittery and and then there's something really joyful i don't know anyone else but i love when we take it all down and i see that it makes me want to clean makes me want to spring clean like mad but there's also that same thing of oh this is lovely look how look how bare this is so um I'm enjoying myself and I'm going to be buying lots more things I think in my quest for Christmas things but these yeah I'm really happy with these ones so that's it that was my um home sense TK Maxx um haul 
there will definitely be another one i mean there's just i'll be going there with my daughter she did say to me oh mummy, you've got some nice things there oh where did you get them from and i said well we must go um so there'll be a lot more coming and there were so many nice things in the shop it was good like me i was having to really restrain myself because i do want to redo this conservatory but not until spring next year and there'll be quite a lot of change then and there will be scope for some new things in here um but i could have bought for it yesterday i really could have i could have just said oh i'll just get it now and put it away which is the wrong thing to do because with my brain i forget i've got it <laughs> Anyway, that was this. I hope you're well. I hope you're happy. And I hope you've got a home sense near you. Okay. Bye, guys.